what is it? Steve Jobs, simplicity is the the most advanced sophistication, isn't it? It's true. Just, and it's so hard. Of course, yeah. It is yeah, so yeah. hard. It's like saying, write what you want to say, but do it in two lines. Mm. People are struggling and struggling and struggling because we can't do it simple. Right. Our brains are too, too complex. <laughs> I want to keep talking about money flow, but let's talk about money flow from the entrepreneurial perspective. Mm. The, the first question, what drove you to found money flow? Great, great question, uh, Chris. I, um, you know, I'm an entrepreneur of, of heart. You know, I've been working within my own business in, in, for many, many years. My, uh, my other business, you know, which I sold uh, quite a few years ago, also helped, albeit a bit more old-fashioned. I literally started that business when the internet just took off. Right. And the question that investors were having is that we think this internet, this internet thing, maybe is going to be a thing. Uh -huh. All right. That was really when I started my first financial services business. Again, had the same conversation. What is this? How is that? Is it going to change? Is it just a fad, etc. So I've been through these kind of like journeys many, many times. So I've been through helping small businesses with liquidity and, and kind of running the business for the last 20 years. And I said like four years ago, when I came back to Denmark, I've lived in London for, for, for many, many years. I came back to be in Denmark because of my mom, you know, my only child, she was getting old. My kids were old, they wanted, they wanted to come to Copenhagen to study. Mm -hmm. So I said, perfect, I'll come back to Copenhagen. I'll start my business here instead of London with a view to doing what I used to do, but in a really smart way. Because I wanted to help small businesses with liquidity because I knew that was one of the biggest problems in growing a business, is that you are in a constant cash crunch, right? But I wanted to do it in a way where I kind of say, where, what technology is out there? What simple, elegant way can you do this so you don't really have to apply for something or fill in things, you know? And I thought, okay, I'm an, I'm an accountant of background. I understand accounting system. That's where all the data sits. There's a bank over here. They're trying to do this. What if you take, and then obviously with my kids, I was constantly on messengers and all these things. And said, hmm, I, I saw the WhatsApp doing, you know, things. And I, Why can't we do that inside an ERP system, but with financial services? And it was literally connecting these things that, hmm, what if you could embed it? And then I, I just... I didn't think embedded finance. What if you could embed it into some workflows? And I was looking around who's doing what, and there wasn't really anything, but obviously buy now, pay later was happening. I said, ah, that's the thing, isn't it? It is that kind of functionality, not the product, but that kind of functionality at these flows that makes a lot of sense. And it was just a lot of trial and errors, a lot of design, thinking about where does it sit logically? Uh, pitching it, uh, pitching it to a couple of potential partners, and then saying, "Could this work?" And then, you know, them being really intrigued, not really sure what it was, um, and it just all came together. It was just like um, it was a lot of thinking. You know, I read a lot, mm -hmm. I study a lot every day, and it was just you know seeing these dots kind of forming out there. Saying, mm, what if you take that one and kind of put it over there, and you have the AP system, and you have the invoice. Mm. Factoring, ah, that's an old fashioned type product. Oh, well, what if you modernized it and then that would be the, the carrier of this embedded finance? And it was literally like that. It started to materialize in my mind and got some great guys on board that could design and stuff like, you know, because I'm very visual mm -hmm. in the way I see things, see the world. And it just condensed into this little widget. And that became it, the widget. Or, as René, my CTO, says, you know, the, 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 the world's most expensive real estate. We have created this little widget that just goes everywhere. And that is the, the, the window into our very technical business in the background. But that is the window to the world. It's just this tiny little widget that can be used in different situations. It could be square, it could be, it could be oval, it could be round. But it can interact with shitloads of data in the background. Fantas oh, I love that. I mean, when you do these things and you put it all together, it's, it's fantastic. And we do this all the time. You can see the walls here. You know, we, we're constantly 
thinking about the world in, in, in new ways and how to put these things together. So it was just, um, it wasn't the epiphany, it was literally slow putting the bricks together in a way that, you know, hadn't really been, not really been done before. Elements of it was, was there, but it wasn't, wasn't there. And we changed it a million times, by the way, yeah, yeah. Yeah, afterwards. But that, that I find that so fascinating that, as you say, you have a, a widget. Yeah. As simple as a widget, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a window to an entire world of complexity that is handled by technology, so it's just that's it. being presented as a widget. That, that's, and what is so simple. That's amazing. You know, one line, you could get this now. Stop. No more. That's it. One button. Press it. There slide. You go. Uh, even nicer. <laughs> and I, I, obviously, slide. Who, who, who materialized that diet in everyone's mind? Mobile pay, right? Mm -hmm. Slide mm -hmm. to pay. Slide to pay. But you know, that, that's it, and it's that simplicity. You know, it's a, I am a sucker for simplicity. I think it really what makes the world tick. You know, I, I, I can't do the complicated things. Yeah. I get really bored. Yeah, yeah. So it had to be super simple. You know, two step onboarding when you do it. That's it. Everyone looks. How can you do AML, KYC? So we have just thought long and hard about how to do it. You know. Yeah. That's a, that's so cool. It's the, the, the fact that your product is actually a, a reflection of your own personality and your mm. own. Uh, that's a. I think that's a really nice uh, way of looking at it. What in Steve Jobs? Simplicity is the the most advanced sophistication, isn't it? It's it, true. Just, and it's so hard. Of course, yeah. It is yeah, so yeah. hard. It's like saying write what you want to say, but do it in two lines. Mm. People are struggling and struggling and struggling because we can't do it simple. Right. Our brains are too. Too complex. But that's really where the thought goes into, right? The more simple you can make something, the more you know yeah. that's really hard thinking went into it. Yeah. So.